my goodness, look at this little one. Today is a beautiful, warm, sunny day. It is actually starting to feel like spring might be here to stay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We are at Village Green Thrift Shop and we are going to go in and see if we can find any vintage items to keep for my own collection or resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. So let's go on in and check it out. Some cute little egg cups. Four for two dollars. Let's see what's in the case here. There's a little tooled leather wallet. Dollar fifty. I'll pick this up. Some pepper shakers. It is 25 to 2. Okay. That's almost our time to go, isn't it? These are $5 for the pair. They don't have their stoppers, just a little piece of paper towel or something stuck in there. And this one, no, that's a piece of, piece of paper. They're putting out fresh carts. <laughs> so hopefully there'll be some goodies on there. But I'm trying to stay out of the way. It's made in China. A little luster piece. Let's see if there's any goodies in the cart here. That's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. Some little napkin holders. There's only three of them. 1990, made in Taiwan. Oh, this is really cute. Little vintage tin. It's twelve dollars. Is there any sales today? Uh, not on vintage. Okay. But and the other stuff, I don't know what was on sale today. What was on sale today? I don't remember. No. Don't know. Okay. I'll go look. I'm, if, if it's not vintage, it's okay. That's, okay, just, no. that's kind of more what I... We do vintage every once in a while. Just yeah. On the spur of the moment. Yeah. We have space, so then we... Run a sale. People are so generous. Here is a beautiful apothecary jar. Unfortunately, there is a few really tiny chips on it. They're asking 12 for the two pieces. If I was just purchasing that for myself, I would be okay with the couple little tiny chips on here, but for resale, I will leave that piece. It's a nice, really heavy pitcher.
thought maybe this, this was lucite, but it's just plastic. JR stainless steel. crackers in here. I'm in need of some nut crackers to go with some of my vintage nut balls, but I don't see any. What is that? Some type of towel wrap, maybe? Oh yeah, you hang it that way got fish on it. What's the price? Fif is that 15 or 45? I can't tell. I think that is... I think it's 15. That's neat. goodness look at this little one be patient please be patient god isn't finished with me yet <laughs> that is adorable look at her little red hairdo that's super cute 350 i'm going to take that for sure Here's some wood candle stick holders. Eucalyptus rudis, Orange County, California, 1975. 250 each. I will grab those. Definitely helps that they are dated and I know exactly what kind of wood and where they're from, so grab those. There's lots of vintage books here. What is this piece? Well, that is a candle. Oh goodness, look at this. <gasps> Look at these, one dollar each. Look how cute. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick those all up for a dollar each. Look at these puppies. Five dollars. <laughs> Those have definitely got some age. Really cute. I love the plaid little jackets on them. It's an interesting box. Weaved metal. Ten dollars. Right. I think they have put it all put out all the stock. This is signed and stamped. Two dollars. It's a nice little pottery piece, so pick that up. My basket is almost full, so I'm going to have to get a new one soon. One of the ladies that works here said that a gentleman dropped off a whole truckload of vintage items. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna slowly turn around to the other side here. Those are really heavy stone and marble coasters. Four dollars. Really pretty. And they look like they're in really nice condition. So I'm going to pick these up. Some hankies. Two fifty. A dollar fifty. That one's really pretty. We'll grab that. Grab the rose. Really cute little demi toss cups. Some nice, interesting bud vase. Eight dollars. Feels like a nice quality piece. It's got a really interesting design and colors so I'm going to grab this one for eight hold fast McLeod that looks Scottish vintage glassware today. It's a really pretty little Japanese tea set. $18 for this set. Made in Vietnam. Penticton, BC. So you could put a flower frog in there and make it an ikebana. A mustache mug. Dollar fifty. We'll pick that up. I think I'm going to have to go and get a new basket because mine is already full. So I spotted an adorable blue and white dog. Four dollars. It is made in Japan, I believe that says. I think. But I have never seen a blue and white dog. So <laughs> for that reason, I'm going to pick it up for four dollars. And I got a new basket. A much larger basket this time. This is interesting. What is this? Yeah. 
One dollar, that's a really interesting. Is that a trivet? It does have a crack right there though. It's a very retro design on it. I'm just having a look through these kids' books. Oh, here's a bird's guide to the most familiar American birds. Two dollars. I love bird books. <laughs> and we're just going to set this on Andy right now. <laughs> I don't sell a lot of kids' books, but I thought I would just have a look and see if there's anything that I should purchase Harry and the Lady Next Door. And I can read book. Little Boy Blue is pretty cute. How to get the animals how the animals get to the zoo. So I spotted this cute little doll. I don't know much about dolls at all. She is marked on the back. I just thought she was really super cute. Look at her tiny little pin in there. Is that an actual bobby pin? I don't know, she's super cute. And so is this little cloth book. They're a dollar each, so I'm going to grab them. So they've moved things around a little bit. There is uh, all their picture frames and some knickknacks and candles are over in a different area. That's an interesting little jar. $12. This is a sweet grass basket, I think, and it's got a terracotta truet inside. Bread warmer instructions. Keep your bread toasty warm. You preheat the piece inside and then put it in here and put your bas your bread in the basket. That's interesting. 10,000 villages. I don't know if this would be considered vintage or not, though. Prayer of Serenity. A nice wall tile. Nineteen eighty six Country Charm House of Crafts. This guy's been here for a little while. Marble Pelican. Little fairy picture frames. Those are cute. Butterfly prints. Oh, 
those are vintage, but not really my style. Some candle holders over here. Oh, that is really cute. Mexico, little, is that a butterfly, I think? I think it comes with a stand. We'll grab this. Let's see what else we have here first. Stone tea light holders. I don't think they are that old. It's just single marble tea light holder. I have a set of those already. Those are cute little bud vases. Got interesting shape. Made in China. I'll grab this marble tea light holder. Lots of goodies in the locked case today. Lots of beautiful Ukrainian Easter eggs. I am going to grab that one. Looks like Coisin A. That one over there might be Coisin A as well. And these are really interesting. <laughs> I don't know what those are exactly. They're pins, they're earrings, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna check those out. Here's a very old mustache mug. Well, there's three of them there. I think I will have a look at those. This looks Turkish. Turkish jewelry, possibly for a belt. $50 for that. I wonder if those are real rubies or synthetic rubies. Really pretty hanky. So large, there's a belt buckle there with the turquoise and coral on it. It's not sterling silver though. That is a really pretty brooch as well. Clasp is broken. Well, I am going to have a look in this case and I'm probably going to purchase a few items in here. I'm over in their bathroom area with towels and bathroom decor and such. This is a vintage towel for $250. Looks like it's in pretty decent condition from what I can see. one is vintage as well and I actually have a matching one to this one so we'll pick this one up for three dollars this one is vintage two dollars it's a smaller one but We'll grab it as well. Okay. 
four dollars for this one. And it is vintage. All right, we'll grab this one too. I think that's it for the vintage towels. We will go have a look in the linens. Some afghans and blankets. This one is still here. seeing any that I really got to have. This one's very retro with the chevron pattern and color combination, but I think we'll leave that one. I'm going to go into a quick voiceover here because I got a copyright strike. I found these two vintage pillows. They had a soft velvet texture to them and I'm checking the zipper and it is metal so that tells me that they are definitely vintage pillows there is remnants of a tag there as well they're in really nice condition really soft the pretty candy stripe design and only two dollars each and I'm contemplating purchasing these because they're very specific and it would take the right buyer to come along and want to purchase those pillows. So I decided to leave them behind. But then I turn around and discover this beautiful vintage pillow and it is a needlepoint with a beautiful floral design. It is only $1 and it has the metal zipper so it's definitely vintage, and I'm gonna take this one with me. All right, so my total in there was $79, and I got a box of really great vintage items. Some of the items you didn't see me pick up, so you will see them in the haul on Sunday, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the haul, and I will show you a little closer look at everything that I purchased from Village Green Thrift Shop. I also got a $30 parking ticket. So if I don't pay that by a certain day within 14 days, it goes up to $50. So that's awesome. I don't know why parking tickets are so expensive. It wasn't that long ago where I think it was like $10 for a parking ticket. And if you didn't pay it within 14 days, it went up to 20 or 25. I don't know. Now it's like $30. And if you don't pay it, it goes up to 50 and then continues to go up from there. So I will have to go pay that soon so I don't forget. But oh well. And I also had to move my vehicle because somebody was just waiting for me to move so they could park. So I couldn't even do my intro right then and there. I had to move up a few blocks so now I'm in an area where nobody parks <laughs> anyways that is everything for today thank you so much for joining me until next time I hope you have a great day bye bye